Yes, it is true that the Ummah is presently going through a downfall. But realize that every community on earth comes up with a revolution at the brink of their destruction. Yes, the Ummah is falling. We are torn apart by boundaries. All that remains of the Islamic empire is broken fragments of honor in the name of oil. We are being butchered in Burma. We are being invaded in Palestine. We are being bombed in Syria. East or West, the Ummah feels the pain. But realize that this is not the end. This is not a situation we should be surprised at. Yes, we are deeply sad. We are in pain for our brothers, but not surprised. <laughs> Today let us analyze what Rasulullah has to say about the current situation of the world. Once the Prophet said to the Sahaba, A time will come when the nations of the world will summon upon one another to fall upon you as hungry people invite one another and fall upon the plates of food. Tell me, is this description not the state of the Ummah today? Well, one of the Sahaba asked the Prophet ﷺ, Will we be so little in number at that time? And Rasulullah replied, No, you will be great in number, like scum on the surface of an ocean. Subhanallah, is this not the description of today's time? Every one in four persons in the world is a Muslim. About two billion in number. How can any sound mind think that a population as big as 2 billion can be oppressed? The reply was given by the best person we can turn to find an answer. Rasulullah said, Allah will take away your fear from the hearts of your enemies and will put wahan in your hearts. Now you must be thinking, what is wahan? If you are thinking this, then you are thinking just like the Sahaba did. One of the companions asked, What is Wahn Ya Rasulullah? And Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, Love for the worldly life and hatred for death. Love for the worldly life. How do we describe this problem? Is anyone among us free from this disease? According to what Rasulullah said, This is the virus that plagues the Ummah. The Ummah is like a body. When one of its parts is suffering, the whole body must feel the pain. But today's scenario is, the likeness of this Ummah is like a body. When one of its parts is suffering, the rest of the body becomes paralyzed. Wahan, Wahan, Wahan. The virus that has invaded our hearts. That has made this body paralyzed. And what happens when you remain paralyzed? The cannibalist just invites people, like hungry people, invite others on plates of food. And they're gonna eat you out. Wahan, Wahan, Wahan. Love for the worldly life and fear from death. What's the solution then? Number one, Quran is the solution for all the diseases of the hearts. The Ummah must reconnect back to the Quran. Those who are connected to the Quran must become doctors for those whose hearts have become diseased with this wahan. Number two, Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. Study the Sunnah. Because nothing can make your heart free from the desire of this world. 
the way the knowledge of the seerah of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam can and nothing can make your heart free from the fear of death the way the love of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the knowledge of the sacrifices of his companions can maut ko bhool gaye hum duniya se mohabbat karke ye bhool gaye ki ek aur zindagi hai baad mar ke jazbaton ki zanjeer mein phas gaye hum ni'mate lagne lage hai kam जीना है अब से इतमान की दौलत को दिल में भर के इतमान की दौलत को दिल में भर के